Meanwhile, House of Representatives has called for a special intervention fund from the federal government to support victims of the recent flood that ravaged communities in Borno State. The lawmakers urged the federal ministries of health, power, and other relevant agencies to address infrastructural deficits caused by flooding in states across the federation. I want to call on the people of Nigeria, including people outside the country, an injury to humanity, irrespective of where it happens, is an injury to all. So I want to lend my voice on this subject matter by calling on philanthropies and other government institutions that still there is gap that is existing in Maiduguri where our citizens are suffering. That if we can come to the aid of the people again, just like it has been done by Mr. President, Senate President, Mr. Speaker, and other relevant stakeholders in Nigeria, I think the gap is not close. I will call on the citizens of this country to continue to come to the aid of the affected victims of Maiduguri. Businesses are lost. People lost their livelihood. People are displaced. No matter the level of the contribution by the foreign partners, by the government of this country, by institutions like parliament, by individuals like representatives, I don't think the damage being done to the people of Maiduguri, those contributions will be able to cover those gaps. That they should look into the issue of what has been in Maiduguri and use his magnanimity and you know, leadership spirit by creating a huge amount of not less than 300 billion to the people or around or around or more than 300 billion to the people of Borno State for what happens in Meduguri. What has happened in Meduguri is a global catastrophe. It's a national issue that of a highest magnitude. Mr. Speaker, including Mr. President, yourself, all colleagues across the country are there in the Maiduguri Borno State capital to sympathize with our people. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, was on ground firm receiving all form of support of any kind. And the Federal Ministry of Health that the chairman has spoken are also there. We have seen the oneness as a nation. We have seen contribution. We have received support from all walks of life. But still, the level of capital infrastructural damage caused by this incident is huge. I'm concerned that if not urgent intervention is made to address the devastation of the University of Maiduguri Teaching Hospital, the people of Borno State and I dare say neighboring states and neighboring countries are at high risk of disease outbreak resulting from the flooding. In another development, the House of Representatives has directed the National Emergency Management Agency to assess the potential hazards of recent earth tremors in the federal capital territory and develop immediate safety measures. This followed a motion of urgent public importance by House Minority Leader Honorable Kingsley Chinda, calling for an urgent investigation into the unusual seismic activities in Abuja, with concerns raised over tremors reported by residents in various districts. Chinda stressed the importance of addressing these tremors, warning that they could cause significant damage to critical infrastructure if not addressed promptly. <laughs> 